What's up people of the internet, I'm the big boat here, with yet another video. Today I'll be taking you on a tour of my brand new small cruise ship that I built in Minecraft for my fictional cruise line Steve Cruise Lines. So let's take a quick look at her exterior, as you can tell, it's not a massive ship by any means, I mean she's only 90 blocks, or 90 meters long, which isn't very long for a cruise ship, trust me, but still, it sure looks nice, right? Her name is Classica, and the reason why I named her Classica is because this is actually my new version of one of the first ships that I ever built in Minecraft back in 2015, when I was a little kid. So here we are at the bow of the ship, where the forward mooring station is, and at the very front is the bell, on which it says 2015 instead of 2023, because like I said this my new version of one of the first ships that I ever built in Minecraft in 2015. Let's walk a bit towards what is supposed to be one of the muster stations, where we have some inflatable rafts, and of course some lifeboats, which actually have interiors by the way. Now let's enter inside. This is the atrium, or the grand staircase whatever you wanna call it, but first, let's start the interior tour from the very bottom of the ship, towards the crew compartments. Here's the entrance to deck minus one, which is the lowest deck of the ship, where we can find the engine control room. So this is the engine control room, as you probably guessed, it's where most of the machiny down here is controlled by the crew. I built corridors on both sides of the ship for easy traversing of the machinery compartments. These are the two engines that power our boat, 6 cylinder cause I didn't have that much space to build bigger ones, the propulsion motors, with some more controls, the green generators, the fuel tanks, which are see through, and the filtration system, since nobody likes drinking poo water, especially at sea, so that's the tour of the very lowest deck. Now we go to deck 0, which is also a crew deck, and towards the totally huge and empty cargo hold. On this deck we can also find some offices. Small storage rooms. A small hospital, in case a passenger somehow gets covered 19 in 2023. So that's the forward part of deck 0, not let's see the aft part of deck 0, where I went as far as building a bloody restaurant for the crew, which sure sounds ridiculous considering that this is a very small cruise ship, of course it's not luxurious by any means, but hey, a restaurant for the crew, why not? Over here towards the port side of the ship, we have more offices, with a porthole, going even further towards the stern we can find the crew cabins. Let's take a look at them. Again, not much luxury. The interior ones have a bunk bed, in addition to a small TV, a normal wardrobe, and of course, a toilet, while the ones with a porthole have a single bed instead of a bunk bed. So yeah, the crew quarters aren't luxurious, which is pretty normal for this part of a cruise ship. And at the stern we have the art mooring station. Honestly I should built more crew cabins instead of the restaurant. But whatever, the done is done. Now let's go up to the first passenger deck, which is called deck 1. Let's take a look at how a normal cabin looks like. So you get a normal double bed in most of the normal cabins. You also get a widescreen TV, a normal wardrobe once again. And I haven't forgotten about the toilets. Did I mention that the cabin lights are interactive? Deck 1 has more than just cabins. Just in front of the cabins, the passengers get a library where you pay to read books while having to return them once your cruise is near its end. Cause we from Steve Cruise Lines want your wallet. 
Again here's the atrium of the ship. These are the diamond elevators. Now here are the guest services, and, sure excursions. If you're wondering what the actual hell is this, well, it's pretty much the cruise ship version of a reception desk. Going towards the front of the ship, you can find the Steve Bar, which is the special non-smoking bar of the cruise line. Here you get to taste some of those special and exclusive drinks. If I'm expressing myself nicely, next to the bar is the the super epic block nightclub. No smoking. Be happy. Have fun. This is a nightclub. It's nothing special. You get a dance floor, a small bar, and it's like the tiny hangout club for the unbearable fellas. In front of the quote unquote nightclub is a theater which stinks of purple. No wonder it's called Amethyst Theater. It's a small theater for those who want to watch a performance on a small cruise ship. I was actually wondering for a while on what theme should the theater get and I eventually chose a purple theme because this is an underrated color. So that's deck one for you. Now it's deck two's turn where the muster stations are, in case something similar to what happened to the Costa Concordia happens. But Deck 2 isn't just muster stations. There are more things here, such as Mr. Yum's delicious candy, cheap and delicious, 100% artificial sugars, perfect for curing insulin and becoming American. Next to the candy is the Cinema Plus. Yes, the ship has a cinema, which looks like this. In front of the cinema is the main restaurant, which I named after the ship itself. And since I named it after the ship itself, I obviously gave it a classic, I guess sort of a Titanic-like theme. Sure it's not big due to space limitations, but it does the job still. It also has a kitchen, that's not all of deck 2, we haven't seen its aft section, so we shall do it. If your wallet wasn't bust already by the library and the diabetes inducing candy, then the overpriced jewelry over here will sure finish it off. And if it's still not bust, you have the plastic souvenirs made in China. Behind the jewelry and the souvenirs are just some more cabins leading to the outdoor stern area, where you can take a look at our bright shining sun. Then we have deck 3 and 4 with more of the atrium and this wonderful sea view part of the atrium on both sides of the ship with more of those tables. Deck 3 and 4 is where the balcony cabins are, which pretty much looked like a normal cabin. Nothing has been changed you know. Well, aside from the addition of the balconies obviously. What a wonderful view. If you're a posh idiot with a massive wallet, you can choose one of the four in total suites on the back of our ship. This is how a suite looks like. You get a big cabin with a different theme, a fancier bed, a rose, the same toilet, but with an emerald floor, and an oversized balcony for a better view of the sea. Let's go to deck 4, which is the same story as deck 3, with more balcony cabins and the other two suites, except for the bridge. Unauthorized access tonight, so, fellow sailors, welcome to the bridge, the place where the classica is controlled and lead to various remote locations. The next deck is deck 5, which is the nice sun deck. You have some sun chairs leading to the second best part of deck 5 with the pools and the paradise tequila bar, which is a generic tequila bar.
There are 3 pools in total. The two small ones on the sides are for kids and people who cannot swim, like me in real life admittedly, while the one at the center is the normal one. Oh, and you can also watch outdoor movies here, now to the forward. And best part of deck 5, which is the infinite ocean mini spa. So, the infinite ocean spa is the fictional signature spa of my fictional cruise line. This is a mini variant of it as the classic or is a very small cruise ship. On the left, you have the massage rooms, where you get touched while looking at the wonderful sea view. And a bit further forward you get a wonderful steamy sauna. In addition, at the front you can relax on one of the additional sunches. Or if you think a sauna isn't enough, then you have one of the two jacuzzis on both sides of the classica. On the starboard side, the spa guests can eat exclusive delicacies in the Infinite Ocean restaurant, while also enjoying the wonderful sea view once again. This isn't the end of the tour though. There is actually one additional deck, with more sunches on its back part, and a sports area with an outdoor gym on the starboard side for the fitness freaks. A basketball court in the middle. And table tennis on the port side, so that's the tour of my new small Minecraft cruise ship, let me know. If you like my boat or not, I will publish it in Planet Minecraft of course, for you to tour it yourself, and yeah, until the next video, it's a bye bye.